Hello everyone. Today I would like to discuss the impact of Christianity in the founding of America. Christianity provided a major impact on the founding of America. Serving God and using their lives as celebrations of God's work was a focal point for many settlers. Disagreements on Christianity itself led to the establishment of different colonies in the New World. According to Mark Knoll's History of Christianity in the United States and Canada, the Puritans left England and established colonies in America because they thought the Anglican Church was beyond reform. Another example was the founding of the Rhode Island Colony by John Williams and the Baptists, who disagreed with the Puritans that the Church shouldn't be governed by the state. One final example are the Quakers, who founded the Pennsylvania colony based on their high pacifism and religious tolerance compared to the Puritans and the Rhode Islanders. Because of Christianity, the early American settlers connected with the Native Americans as well. According to Knoll, Christianity allowed settlers like Andrew White of Maryland to use it to bridge the gap of communication between the settlers and the natives. According to John Rolfe of Jamestown, in a 1619 letter, the spreading of Christianity was the main reason, main reason he desired to marry and communicate the word to Pocahontas. Both Andrew White and John Rolfe used Christianity to communicate and try to convert uh, respective Native Americans. Settlers, in terms of their leaders, applied Christianity to explain calamities and prevented colonies from collapsing. There are two examples. One is William Bradford, who was one of the leaders of Plymouth. In his Of Plymouth Plantation, he explained the death of one of their mighty sailors due to the sailor's arrogance to those less than him. And as a punishment from God, the sailor died. Lord Delaware of Jamestown called a worship service and applied principles of the Bible to ensure Jamestown settlers would work hard for the colony when Jamestown was on the brink of collapse. Both of those leaders applied biblical principles and assured the settlers that if they followed God and the word, then they would survive and thrive in their respective colonies. Christianity was also directly credited for the survival of certain colonies in the New World. One example would be Plymouth Colony's William Bradford, who credited God with their survival of a brutal winter that killed half of the Plymouth settlers. In his Of Plymouth Plantation, he states, Thus out of small beginnings, greater things have been produced by his hand, that made all things of nothing, and gives beings to all things that are. And as one small candle may light a thousand, so the light here kindled hath shone unto many. Bradford essentially thanks God for their miraculous survival, which included meeting Squanto and learning how to better farm from the Native Americans, the first Thanksgiving, and the thriving of the Plymouth Colony afterwards. Many of our education systems were used to spread Christian values to the new generation. This was very prevalent in New England. Harvard, for instance, was founded in 1636 to provide a Christian education for the younger generation. Mark Knoll asserts that well into the 18th century, Harvard was the main source of New England's congressional clergy. The Massachusetts legislature further enacted several laws to ensure children could learn religion and law. One of those was the Old Deluder Satan Bill, making sure each town had a teacher per 50 households to teach the children. Another example was the founding of William and Mary, whose charter itself labeled it as a college of divinity. Those were just some examples of the impact Christianity had on the founding of America. By disagreeing on what Christianity was, the settlers founded new colonies. Through spreading the gospel, they were able to communicate with the Native Americans. Early colonial leaders applied Christianity to explain calamities and prevented the collapse of certain colonies. Christianity was credited for the survival of said colonies by those leaders. Finally, some of our education systems were used to spread Christianity to its respective students. Overall, Christianity was the focal point for many of the New World settlers and played a large role in the founding of America.